about to give you a tour of the DMG Mori open house event here in Fronton. And look at this technology. This is a uh, tool storage system, isn't it? What a place to start. I mean, there's over 900 tools held in the storage system. And then what happens is this CTS, um, it's kind of like a gantry, takes the tools or takes eight tools into a, a machine, which you can see there at the end is the DMU125P. I mean, I've seen tool changing systems before, yeah. but not one that can take eight tools. It's amazing. And when this actually, it's a, it's a customer's, isn't it? So when it gets installed, it's going to be feeding four, so there's a duo block over there, but it's going to be feeding four machines. That's amazing, 960 tools. I mean, holds. sometimes I think to myself, is it not enough to have 200 tools in a machine? But oh, clearly not, sometimes yeah. you need more. Um, Let's right. go down here. There's loads of machines here, uh, small and big. This is a huge one. This is the DMU 210 FDS. If we can get a camera up there to see inside the machine, we're looking at a, a machine tool here which can, uh, can mill, can turn. Uh, look at the size of that table and the size of that component. Uh, a universal machine. I know these machines will grind as well if need be, but I think the... the, the the illustration of this is just showing you the size of machines that are on display. Here we have a, one of the seven world premieres this week. This is the DMF 311 travelling column machine. It's a pendulum, isn't it? Pe they you call can do it pendulum, pendulum machine. machine. You can take that partition out of the middle. It just takes 20 minutes. That's all it takes to take that partition out of the middle. Then, of course, you can have a longer part. There's two points on this machine I'd like to point out. The first one is the Y-axis is now on a, a true casting as opposed to just a ram, which means it's a, a much stiffer construction. Uh, you can turn on this machine if you choose yeah, to as well. That. And the tool changer is actually attached to the casting as well, so you don't have to move uh, and travel to the other end of the machine to actually change tools. And over a period of time, if you're going to move that on every single tool change, the time that's where? you're going to lose and where on the machine. Now have a look at this bad boy. This is Absolute. Cool. This is this an is incredible piece of technology. Count them. Four turrets. Four turrets. Why no do you less need than four, four turrets. turrets. Two spindles. Now all of these turrets uh, have a B-axis, so they can tip like that. Uh, yep, so they can tip like that, or they have a Y-axis, so they can come in and out. That turret can work on that spindle. This turret can work on that spindle. That turret can work here. So endless I, opportunities. I just said, why do you need four turrets? But is that about time? Is that about access? You know, because if you look here, you could be machining. Sorry, you could be machining here. But I saw yesterday it was machining that that uh, that spindle this side. And but then also the parts that long could it have machined behind? Yeah, well, just... well, well it, it's all about these, these parts are like medical sector parts. So there's yes. lots of um, lots of areas on them that need machining. They're complex. You need to get to difficult areas on them. And if you can do all of those operations at once yes. without taking the part off the machine wow. I shouldn't walk backwards down these stairs I might yes, fall down do not if you can do over. that at once on one machine without taking the part out you're going to maintain tolerance better accuracy uh, cycle time reduction so many um, so many points to oh uh, you're to looking about. a bit green it was a heavy night last night oh well <laughs> everybody's talking about saving uh, energy yes. and that's one of the things that of course the MG Mori are looking at the dim the, the DMU-75, this is the monoblock. This is another one of the world premieres here. This is the second generation of the monoblock machines. I know you've got a lot of facts about the monoblock that you picked up over the past Absolutely. So they, they produce these here solely at Fronton, and 10 of these come off their production line every single week. Like you say, it's second generation. It's that evolution. And what's amazing is the... Because DMG Mori are who they are and the size of who they are, they're the R&D department, it allows them to make these minor improvements that overall make a huge improvement on the machine. And, you know, we were talking yesterday, you know, down to the, the sizes of the cogs that they're using and, and, and the motors. It is fascinating. Well, that's part of the second generation. I mean, look at the window here. If you it's remember changed. the monoblock from uh, the first generation, it was, it was like a dome. Now this is a two-panel window. It allows you to have harder glass as well, which yes. means you know, there's less likelihood of you being able to smash the glass, and of course you need to repair that if you do it. The, the table on this, the A-axis and, and the C-axis, are much quieter, it's a much smoother motion And that's as well. all to do with those, the, the motors that yeah, they're talking and the, about. And the thermal stability on these machines now is improved because they have uh, temperature control on the, on the front of the spindle as well, or cooling on the front of the spindle as well as the back. It's almost built in, the, the, isn't it now? It's uh, taken a machine was that was extremely accurate, and I think it's now even 20% more accurate yeah. than it was before. 
So these little improvements make a big difference. The pH cell here is loading and feeding this machine. This is a big point that we want to put across as well uh, during uh, this, this week. Automation is a really big part, not just here, but back in the UK. And DMG Mori UK are selling a lot of the monoblock machines, but other machines as well, where they have these pH cells. Now, the, the versatility of these cells is really a point to, to point out. These can be pretty much interfaced to any machine, but they can be interfaced to more than one machine. So you could use this to feed, say, two machines in your machine shop. So you don't have to buy an automation solution for each machine. You could feed two machines with this. So there's lots of opportunity and lots of options with the pH cells. Now, previously, they had the M1. We launched that um, in the UK a few years we ago, We did, didn't yeah, we? yeah, we did. And now this is the M2. Why have they launched this well, machine? Well, we started on this machine yesterday, and actually we spent quite a bit of time on it, and, and quite rightly so. Um, this is actually, the, the M1 had 550 in the x-axis. This has got over a metre now. It's double the size, 1.1 metres in the x-axis. You can see by looking at it, they're making the most of the table. They've got a fourth axis unit on the table. They've got more components on the table. But having that size of x-axis means you've got more scope for larger parts but also to do mul multiple parts interestingly 50 percent of the people who bought these last year were new customers to dmg mori so they're hitting like a new area of the market so you've got all of the dmg mori innovation and all the backing behind it and you've got this fabulous machine to go with it yeah, but 50 percent and, and these will be really popular along with the t2 we come here normally looking at ctx's and and the NLXs and, the, and the, the big DMU machines, but sometimes back to basics, yeah. you know, and DMG Mori do that very well as well. And as you say, 50% of new of, of purchases of these machines went to new customers, which will then allow them to, to break into those businesses and then offer them more technology as, as their businesses They've grow. They've kept it quite simple as well. So you've got different packages within the range and you basically go for like a complete, a pro or a can't run a plus or something like that. So you just choose from your three and that's it. Keep it simple. Um, all of the machines that we've mentioned, in fact, most of them, we've done independent videos, much more detailed with either guys here from uh, from the front and facility or between ourselves so they'll be featuring on our YouTube channel but it has been a terrific couple of days here it really has. Um, I would rec thoroughly recommend I think it happens every February it really is a place to come not just because of what we see here oh. but what's outside these four walls as well the it's experience um, is just incredible something else